PJ, you guys chose this snake. Yes, sir. It's stylistic, it's strong, it's bold, but more than anything, it's the best snake we've seen in Ink Master. Thanks. By far. Damn, dude. You've got great composition, line work, you've got color saturation, you've got a lot of things that we look for all season long wrapped up into one big tattoo. This week, we're testing proportion. Proportion is the size of objects in relation to other objects in a tattoo. Today, you must all tattoo the same subject, a Japanese snake. Damn it. Snakes are one of the most symbolic creatures in traditional Japanese tattooing. Traditional Japanese is really hard because it has a whole lot of rules in it. And if you don't know them, you can't follow them. And the one guy who's gonna judge you is Taki, and he's gonna nail the out of you. All of the canvases want their tattoos on their ribs. Of course they do. Ribs? You've got to be kidding me. Wow. The ribs is one of the most painful areas. With snakes, it's going to be hard to make those long, sweeping lines. In this elimination tattoo, proportion is important because we're asking them to tattoo a snake, which is recognizable imagery to everybody, and we're asking them to do it in a Japanese style. We're asking them to incorporate something with the snake to really show it in proportion. Pretty cool. Yeah. I'm not familiar with any of the rules of Japanese tradition. I'm just gonna try to follow as much reference as I possibly can. Going on in here, guys? This thing gonna be color too? Yeah, nice simple color. Halo is biting off way more than he can chew. His background's way off, and he's doing the belly backwards in a section. Not a good one. I'm really excited about this elimination tattoo. I get a chance to do a really big, ballsy, badass snake. That's a big tattoo to color in in a few hours. Hanging in there? Oh, I'm good. I plan to show proportion with the relation of the size of the flowers to the size of the snake and the size of the snake's head to the size of the snake's body. God damn, look how big that is. I see a big opportunity for me to take this. My canvas is having a really hard time, and she's making it vocal. I need your confidence high, you know what I mean? We do it. Mm. I'm doing whatever it takes to make sure that I put a good tattoo in front of those judges today. I just don't want to let you go, and then I got to drag you back in here by your hair. Don't think I want for 100 grand. If I have to physically hold my canvas down to make sure she doesn't leave, I'm going to do just that. I can't move in the middle of the line sorry, like that, sorry, OK? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, deal. Nunez doesn't put color in his teeth, so we're not going to put color in ours. Traditional Japanese tattooing is a very precise art. I'm just trying to really stick to the traditional rules today. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That is it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. Wow. I love it. Today, you had to show your mastery of proportion by tattooing a Japanese snake on your canvas's ribs. Melissa, let's start with you. You do have some elements in this tattoo that follow a Japanese style. Some of the tattoos we saw today did not. So following that part of the challenge, you tried and you had a pretty good swing at it. My problem with the proportion is the size of the snake head. It looks too big. And your shape of the body, it's not a lot of smooth curves. It has a little bit of a wonky look to it. There's a few rules that would apply here. Like, if you look at the lower jaw, it runs alongside the underbelly. That's getting lost right there. If you'd moved it up, there would have been a little bit of a separation. Also, your leaf goes right to the back. You should never have lines touching like that. Just little things like that, I think, would help your work look a lot better. You don't have this way of making your drawings flow nicely. It's not that you're a bad artist. You just do things very stiff. You got to find your flow. Maddie. As far as proportion goes, I really like not only the proportion of the snake to the flowers, but also just the proportion of the snake itself, the length versus the head. I like the way it fits the body. Looking at this much tattooing, it's definitely impressive at the amount of coverage that you got and the proficiency that you have doing what you do. Really a nice job. I think there's design flaws, but overall, it's well balanced, it's well proportioned. Good art is good art in any yeah. culture. You want good flow, you want good placement, good proportion. Mm -hmm. I think you pulled that off with this one. Hey, thank you. Halo. What made you decide to just do the bottom just flat across? I have no background in Japanese. Traditional, I just didn't know how to end it. That part of the layout is very awkward. Flat across the bottom, big oval tombstone shape at the top. 
This does look like a tombstone. It also looks like would fit better on an arm. Now, I understand that this is not your area of expertise. Unfortunately, it shows. You should have taken another two hours just on the drawing and done less tattooing because the snake body makes zero sense. The belly of the snake is going in the opposite direction that it should go. The belly's going upwards, not downwards. Not only just Japanese day, but it's just a snake. Just to see so many flaws just in the shape of the snake, there's no reason for that. It's just way off, way off. Scott. Very, very surprised to see this tattoo come out of you. When you look at this thing from across the room, compared to the other tattoos, this is the one that's hard to tell what the going on. I don't like the layout. I don't like the way it sits on her body. The way you decided to make this background swoop, echo the shape of that snake, makes it hard to tell what's going on. And as far as hitting Japanese, you totally lost it. I did get a little new school with it. But when I'm freehand drawing, I can't help it. My style's going to come out in my drawing. One of the things about Japanese tattooing is it's not necessarily always about you. It's part of a larger history, a larger culture. So walking in and being like, I'm doing it my way, it's insulting. It's utterly incorrect. She was a tough canvas, man. Her being a tough canvas aside, your drawing's your drawing. If she's a tough canvas, it's going to show even more in your application, which it doesn't. It's just odd. It's an odd drawing, man. I'm not making excuses. You know, I'm going to stand behind this piece. It's definitely my least favorite today. And it's applied meticulously, which makes it tough, man. It's a crazy thing, this competition. The judges have determined a winner. The best tattoo of the day goes to Maddie. Thank you. Halo, Scott, Melissa, one of you is about to lose your place in the top four. The judges have decided. Melissa, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop. For your first elimination tattoo, you must draw your tattoo using only live reference. <laughs> what the f Let's bring him in. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh. 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 Yeah. Holy I'm afraid of snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? You will have six hours to tattoo in any style you choose. And for this tattoo, you will be tag teaming. Your shop will create one tattoo on the same canvas. Only one of you can tattoo at a time, and you must switch artists every hour. <laughs> We're doing what? Me and Dave have never tag team on a tattoo. Oh. Dave has his style, and I have my style. My heart just dropped a little bit. Based on your work, one shop will be packing their machines. Can you hold the head? It's eight times harder to draw animals. I mean, you're running out of reference. I don't want you to go past what we've drawn. I'm really aiming to show the judges that we have a better concept over everybody else's. I mean, I don't want to like waste time just like not doing anything. I mean, well, it's better to not do anything than to do what doesn't need to be done. Come on, let me run you this new script real quick. Dave is changing the sketch. Why are you doing that? We had a plan. Let's stick to it. Well, it was never finished, so. You killing a brother. Thank Proud you. of you, huh? We're a big family. This is my brother from another mother. Yep. Probably a bit more black right in that area. Just to push it. At the end of the day, I want to show my family that here in the United States, you can make your dreams come true. We're here to win it. This is a good tattoo. This is the best snake out there. Five, four, three, two, one. That is it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. Very, very confident. For sure. That's awesome. Tri-Cities and Thicker Than Blood. Should be worried about going home today. John and Bobby Aries tattoo looks like a weird space worm. And Tri-Cities tattoo just looks like just a tube with a head. It's just bad in a different way. Definitely one of a kind. Today, you had to prove the strength of your shop by creating a tattoo using only live reference. Based on your work, one shop will be the first to go home. Let's see how you did. Thicker than blood. This, to me, doesn't look like the snake that came in. 
for me, it looked like a stain, and everybody else here knows it. Look at the top line of the head. Look how it goes across all the way to the back of the body. See that hard line you put in? So you just took that thing's head, and you just took its body, and you went <laughs> broke it there. So it's already got a snap spine. It's completely anatomically impossible. You're not showing us that you can draw from life. Tri-Cities Tattoo. The big question is, what's going on with this in and out of the skin thing? The snake is sitting on top of sand. Part of it is going in sand, and part of it is going out of sand. To me, it doesn't look like it's going in and out of anything. It just looks like it stops and starts. We drew exactly a boa constrictor, and that's what the challenge was, to draw from the reference. You're drawing from life. You're putting in the details from life to show that you could draw what you see. This does not convince me of that. Today, you had to prove the strength of your shop by creating a tattoo using only live reference. Based on your work, one shop will be the first to go home. The people that are safe went the extra mile in the drawing. I feel like with this one, less is more. Like, Dang, I you're think... not you're not hearing. If you do a life drawing, less is not more. This is a silhouette with some stuff in it. The other two shops, they did a tattoo where there can be no corrections with our tattoo. We can add on to it. At least they we can't... show creativity in our tattoo. And we we're show potential. We're not talking potential. about creativity. We're that means talking that about we the got lack more of detail. Detail. Since you guys are chiming in now, let's move along to your tattoo. This tattoo, for me, has a lot of problems. It does not look like the life study, which then tells me that you're challenged in drawing. Also, the quality of tattooing here is not top notch. I'm not saying that the tattoo was perfect because it was not. So you acknowledge We're that powerful. you did a bad tattoo? We That's acknowledge it. that it didn't meet the challenge. It didn't meet the challenge. Thank you. I mean, we got a lot to show here, and we can prove it. All right, guys, who's going home? Tri-Cities, as much as it has nothing that I want to see, still looks like what it's supposed to be. So would you guys say Tri-Cities is safe? I would. So now we're looking between Mark Society and Thicker Than Blood. We didn't make the challenge, but we show a lot of potential in that tattoo. As far as drawing, these guys' snake is questionable, your guys' gator's questionable. So now we got to get down to tattooing. Application versus application, there's a clear victor. My vote's got to be for Thicker Than Blood. Thicker Than Blood. My vote is also for Thicker Than Blood. Thicker Than Blood, the judges have decided you do not have what it takes to be master shop. Please pack your machines and move out. To avoid elimination, your shops must tattoo against each other in a tag team face-off. You will have six hours to tattoo. A silica tattoo, what style will they be tattooing? Real American traditional tattooing. Unkindness art, what subject are they tattooing? Something that has quite often been done poorly in the history of this competition. Snakes. Aaron and Doom are right. Every time we see them in here, they're We got this. We just came off a bad critique, and we need to save ourselves. I'm gonna take the reins on this one because I love doing American traditional tattoos, and I love tattooing snakes. So, boom, I'm set. DJ. Alex, welcome aboard, kid. I actually really like that. You love that? Yes. Awesome. Basilica threw us a bone by giving us American traditional. What kind of colors are you guys gonna be using? It's just gonna be super simple palette. We're gonna kill it. Yeah, that like, real quick. Perfect size, dude. Christian's taking a shot at us. It's making sure everything's right, you know? American traditional is definitely a hard style to pull off, but I love tattooing snakes. He's asking what colors we're using. Black, green, red, yellow. Bring it on. So we'll do this size? You wanna do it that size? Yeah. American traditional is difficult because most of these tattooers don't come up learning it. DJ, hold the sides of it real quick. I thought it needed to be tilted more. No. Snakes are difficult because the belly, the face, the scales, they're all moving and all have to move in cohesion. Perfect. Yeah. OK. This should be a real kicker here because we see people f these up all the time. Here we go. I think Golden Skull has the strongest design. We did see Baba do that peony, though, and that was super, super clean. With snakes, I was really trying to give DJ something that he could show off with, and he kills it at snakes. I think it looks sick. I think it looks awesome. Yeah. Five hours, guys, and switch. That looks perfect. Competing against Old Town Golden Skull and Empire and American Traditional is no contest. We've got a really strong design. This canvas is sitting amazing. We definitely got the win in the bag.
let's stop the black here. A little bit off that corner, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm super pumped. This tattoo looks tough as nails. I'm not saying we're kicking ass, but I am saying we're kicking ass. Complete accuracy. Two more hours, guys. Switch artists. Race is on, boys. Been a good month? That's a nice knife. Most of the American traditional snakes and daggers that I see, the daggers are straight. I think doing a curved dagger is a bad idea. I'm just trusting DJ in this one. We work the direction of the pepper if you can. Any tiny misstep can take you out of the finale, so this is do or die. Yeah. It's a snake. You don't need a weird dagger that looks like an owl. What red is that? DJ made it. As usual, DJ created this entire tattoo and Bubba just went for the ride. If there was a way to ride someone's coattails out the door, this is the way you're gonna do it. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it, machine's down, time is up, no more ink. Man, that was brutal. So badass. Yeah. Oh, it is badass to the maximum. <laughs> I think it's great, dude. Yeah, man. Old Town has to go home for this one. It's very cluttered, and I don't even feel like it looks like American traditional. Their snake is terrible. I think it's so rad. Today, you had to face off proving the strength of your shot. Basilica tattoos and unkindness art, you're safe from elimination this week. For the face-off, they assigned American traditional snakes. And based on your work, one shop will be eliminated. First up is Golden Skull Tattoo. You do a very straightforward, clean, really technical tattoo here. And what I love is that all the anatomy is right. The belly scale is all going in the right direction. All the turns make sense. The little bit of wide open on each belly scale looks very consistent and clean. It looks cool, it looks tough, it looks killer. Good job, Plain. I mean, guys. You tell me. Black Cobra tattoos. You accomplish a really clean, bold tattoo. The black shading is fantastic. And on the top belly plate, the yellow and the ornamental design there looks really good. I like the red that you guys brought down and left the open skin. This is the exact look of this style that we're going for. Empire State Studio. At first glance, I really like the layout. I love the shape of the body. It has a nice flow to it that curves around. But the problem for me, design-wise, is you have some belly scales that are doing conflicting things. After the head, the first five are these little C-shaped from one to the next. And then you start this S-curve that doesn't tell you which direction this belly scale is going. Old Town Inc. Love the belly on this Cobra. The little fanciness around the belly plate where you double line, it's badass. But one issue that I have is if you're gonna have a weapon, would you put your knife blade facing the front of your hand that you would grab it for, or would you put the handle facing the direction so you can use it? That's my fault. Bubba wanted to do a straight dagger. I was like, nah, that fits the S curve of the thigh. I think you just got a couple of hiccups in this one. Judges, it is time to determine who is going home. Black Cobra is the one that really gets the style. Lots of heavy black. Bold line work and golden skull, same. The open skin yeah. on every Bella scale is meticulously done. Both of these tattoos just hit the mark. I agree. Golden skull, Black Cobra, you guys, nothing to worry about right now. Like you guys. However, somebody's going home. This is going to be tough, man. Empire State kind of captures the look, but then you flip over to Old Towns. They went with a more intricate design, which I think didn't come out as legible. Too fancy. It looks like a watercolor tattoo flash painting. Yeah. There's also a directional issue with this weapon. Yeah, but Empire State, the direction of the belly scales, it's a bigger boo-boo. But I mean, when I look at Empire States, I'm like, I know exactly what that is. When I'm standing next to the Old Town design, I have to do a little math. It gets lost. I'd like to say that Marvin and I, we work on these together. No one's carrying the load for either of us. He does 50-50 all the time, you know? And I'd be a fool to try and take the rein on a lot of things that he excels at. I appreciate where you're all coming from on this. Let's get into a decision here. If I base it strictly on today's work, we come back and forth with this ping pong. If I look at the three tattoos we've seen this week, Old Town definitely edges them out. My vote is Empire State. My vote is also for Empire State Studio. The judges have decided, Empire State Studio, you do not have what it takes to be master shop. Please pack your machines and move out.
Welcome. Black Cobra Tattoos and Basilica, your shops have earned spots in the live finale. Congratulations. Old Town Inc., an unkindness art. One shop will go to the live finale to fight for the title of Master Shop, and one shop will go home. It all depends on this elimination tattoo. You and your teammate have depended on your collective strength as a shop. You win together and you lose together. Today is no exception. Uh... There's no better way to prove the strength of your shop than tag team tattooing two canvases at the same time. Man. You will switch canvases every hour, seamlessly picking up where your teammate left off. Yeah, damn. You guys just can't stop us, can you? I'm gonna do a badass snake. I love it. Sweet, and you like color and all that? Yeah. I'm gonna blow them away. So obviously the outside is like a solid black. You gotta feel great going into any challenge, but there's always that little bit of nervousness, knowing that we have to switch off and work on each other's pieces. I can't be creeping over Bubba's shoulder. I gotta just let it go. All right, what's up, homeboy? You know, just taking over somebody else's tattoo. Yeah, no, no big whoop. One hour left, swap artists. What needs to be done? Uh, solid yellow belly. Okay. Even that edge. Eyes are bright yellow. Knowing this is the last tattoo, our last chance to shine, we're pulling out all the tricks. We're gonna finish number one, and that spot in the finale is ours. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it, machine's down, time is up. No more ink. I love it. This is insane. Today, you had to tag team tattoo two canvases at the same time, proving your strength as a shop. One of you will move on to fight for the title of Master Shop, and for one of you, this is the end of the line. Old Town Inc. PJ, you guys chose this snake. Yes, sir. It's stylistic, it's strong, it's bold, but more than anything, it's the best snake we've seen in Ink Master. Thanks. By far. Damn, dude. You've got great composition, line work, you've got color saturation, you've got a lot of things that we look for all season long wrapped up into one big tattoo. All right, judges, this is it. Time to determine which shop had the best tattoos of the day and earns the third spot in the live finale. I think we're looking at four good tattoos. Old Town, you did two tattoos that fill up the space, two tattoos that show a lot of drive and a lot of energy. Hell yeah. You guys smoked it. Clearly, for me, you guys take it. I vote for Old Town Inc. My vote is also for Old Town Inc. The judges have decided. Old Town Inc., you are headed to the finale. Thank you guys so much. This competition is all about versatility. To make it to the end, you must be able to tattoo whatever is thrown at you. Tomorrow, each of you must face off in a six-hour head-to-head tattoo with another artist. Chris and TJ will be facing off in a grudge match. Clean, you get to determine the style and subject that they must tattoo. Photo realistic, full color, full body, copperhead snakes. One of my friends showed me how to do this kind of I just don't like doing it because it's so tedious. I like being simple. It is tedious. Chris is going for it. Make sure you're super on point because I think he's full I know. All that full was exactly that, I'm just full I don't know why he did that, but that pisses me off. Chris is one of the biggest threats in this competition. He can do anything. You want to push yourself out of the team, do this lone wolf A lone wolf doesn't last long in the wild. Eventually, somebody's going to get your ass. How you doing? Trying. I heard it looks good. Just trying to not look like a complete asshole. Nah, I think you know how to handle your business. I a little bit of a confession to make. Maybe I got a little overly dramatic with doing the snake. Can I do photorealism? No, I can't. But I can sort of do color realism. I might have left that part out with my team. Yeah, it's teams, but I still have to go against everybody on my team. I can't trust them. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it, machine's down, time is up. Grudge match complete. Today, all of you had to face off in your own grudge match. 
Let's see how you did. TJ and Chris. Let's start with TJ. The head and all those details you have in there is pretty amazing. The colors are pretty close. The white's in the exact same places as in the reference. The little bits around the mouth, it's pretty identical. It just kind of falls flat at the top. I was just going for more focus to out of focus. Trying to rack every scale in that thing in six hours is ridiculous. I mean, Clean really screwed you guys in six hours. He knew that was gonna be a challenge. Well played, sir. If it's gonna be out of focus, it needs to look a little more out of focus than to just look unfinished like this. But man, the front half of this tattoo is stellar. Let's get into Chris. Overall, you have a much more finished look throughout. You highlight certain areas of scales and details that lead you to see the snake as being detailed, when actually there's a lot of areas to the snake where you leave details out, but it's an illustrational design to give a realistic look. As far as the capture and the look of the snake, I like it. All right, guys, we have to determine a winner here of this head-to-head. -head. I am very torn here because I love the HD section of TJ's that shows every little detail in the reference. But overall, Chris's tattoo looks complete within itself. Looking at photorealism challenge, for me, I'm leaning to TJ. I was leaning more towards Chris just because it did have an overall more finished feel, but I don't think that in any part of Chris's tattoo, does he actually portray the real shapes that are there? TJ does show photorealism, without a doubt. My vote's for TJ. My vote's for TJ. Congratulations, TJ. You are safe from elimination. Thank you. And Chris, that means that you're up for elimination. Thank you.